Ryan Martinez, and this is Oblitus, or Oblitus. I'm not entirely 100% sure on how to pronounce it, to be honest, but regardless. Uh, this is a game made by the developer known as Connor Ullman, I believe is how it's pronounced, I'd assume. It doesn't seem like that difficult of a name to pronounce, but you never know. You never know until someone corrects you. And it's being published by Adult Swim Games, and I don't know what it is with Adult Swim Games, but they manage, to, they find games that I just always seem to enjoy. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. They do stuff like Super Castle Bit Ninjas, uh, Super Puzzle Platformer, they, they're great fun, and they are just, they publish some pretty good games, and yeah, and this is another one. This is Oblitus, which is actually coming out in two days, or maybe one day, depending on when I actually upload this. It comes out the Friday, which I believe is the 27th of February is the release date, unless it gets pushed back, which would kind of suck, but you know, if, if, if they delay it, they delay it. So what? You shouldn't take delays as a bad thing, you should just assume that they're doing it to improve the game. So let's have a quick look at the tutorial so you know what to expect. Uh, you can, I, I do like this though, I must admit. You can either play with a controller or you can play with a mouse. And the game, this tutorial, goes on which one that you're currently using. So if I move around with the, with the controller, it'll have the controller display put up. But if I move my mouse, it will show me the mouse controls. It's wonderful! That's a lovely feature! Now, let's get rid of the mouse because I'm not using it. Because uh, I have a controller for a reason. So these are controls, pretty simple. Roll. And then roll and jump, you get a nice little springboard type of jump. Uh, you can aim. You can shield, you know, block attacks. You can throw your weapon. Uh, you can stab because you got a little, you got a little spear, and that's and that's basically the tutorial. Nothing, nothing special, nothing too complicated, just to get you into the gist of the game. Now let's actually get into the game and you know start talking about it, shall we? Uh, you hear a voice. To you hear a voice to you from beyond. A new harbinger awakens. Find me in the hanging furnace above. Uh, yeah. So, this this is a blightus. This is this is the game basically. It has been described as a 2D platformer version of Dark Souls, which I can't exactly disagree with because the game is pretty difficult. The enemies aren't exactly the nicest things in the world. So let's. So let's um, let's go battle some, shall we? So if we hold that button, you can aim a little more accurately. Oh, there's a rock there. That makes things a little more difficult. Okay, let's not. Okay, so that's a good start. So first enemy I encounter, he's given me damage. That's not good. Also, as you may have seen in the tutorial, if I go over, oh, if I go over the torch, my spear goes on fire, which is wonderful. I'm I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. It doesn't last very long, but we we can change that with uh, a few upgrades. There. Um. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? You kill people, you get, you get, um, you don't get experience, you get health back, basically. So, so basically, you don't have to fight anyone, actually, unless it's a boss. So you can skip everything and everyone if you want. But, you know, the weaker enemies, nice bit of, nice bit of health, you need it. Also, fire spear. Uh, can I have my spear back? Yeah, some of these... Some of these things are destroyable, which is which is nice. Yeah, you can block attacks, but I've honestly never bothered, just because I feel like dodging is way more effective. Also, if my spe spear's on fire, it will one-hit one of these people. Uh, yeah, and your spear comes back to you once you've thrown it. So if I throw it off there, and it's in, like, no position to where I can reach it, then, yeah. But if I throw it down there, and I just sort of run over it, I'll, I'll pick it back up. No problems. No problems whatsoever. Simples, basically. It's wonderful. Let's set that thing on fire because it's not very nice. Oh, what we got? Okay, that's just health. Okay. Nice shadow system. Rather nice. Simple, but it works. Oh yeah, that, that thing gives you a nice bit of jump. So, yeah, they described it as a 2D Dark Souls. I wouldn't exactly say that's wrong considering the bosses are mean. Considering like one can like two hit you. And it's the first boss you encounter in the entire game, which you, you, you know has a very has a fairly decent idea of how difficult the game could be. If 
But I like to describe the game as a 2D platformer which has the mixture of a roguelike. I missed the jumping in, didn't I? No, I didn't. Good. Right, you enjoy my spear. Don't take that as anything dirty. Yeah, rolling just seems more efficient than blocking. Ooh. I don't know if headshots do more damage. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, was, I would describe it as a roguelike 2D platformer mixed with a sort of metroidvania in a kind of way. It's a roguelike because once you die, that's it. The game's over. Unless there's an item in which it bestows you life once you die. I don't know. I've not found it. It's not getting the water. That's kind of annoying. There you go. I have my spear. Just grab my spear and yeah, there you go. I must admit, I do like the music. It, it doesn't make itself subtle, which is nice. Yeah, I, I... Oh, hello, dude. Yeah, uh... Holy hell, I'm kind of, kind of distracted. There you go, simple. Now let's destroy this, because there's a thing down there, which is an upgrade. Yeah, this is why I describe it as Metroidvania, because you will find upgrades. Fire spear obtained, so now my spear is always on fire. Wonderful. It's about the only upgrade I know the location of. And that, I'm pretty sure, just full heals you. I missed. That's not good. Yeah, Fire Spear obviously does more damage because it sets people on fire. Which, you know, fairly effective. Okay, you blocked that. That's not so good. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the reason I call it a roguelike Metroidvania is because once you die, you lose everything and you have to restart the entire game over again. And I call it a Metroidvania because... You just go out throughout the land looking for new items. It just, it just, it just seemed like a fitting description, I feel. So, you, now that I have this fire spear, it will forever stay on fire. What well, going into water will not put that puppy out, is all I'm saying. So, what are we actually doing here, other than trying to look for upgrades for our weapon? Well. Well. We are supposed to find these people, which I'm going to try and look for, but I can't remember where he's located exactly. I only The only one I consistently remember is the Fire Spear, which I'm not sure how much that says about me, but... Let's just get rid of the... Oh, you missed. Okay, I still really don't like it when you do that. It kind of worries me greatly. Okay, I believe it's somewhere along these lines, but let's have a, let's have a gander. I believe it's at the bottom of here, but I kind of want to look around here. That's not poisonous water, by the way. That's what I thought the first time as well. I got to the bottom, and um, I looked at the water and thought, oh shit, and thought, that that looks like it could kill me. It doesn't. It doesn't. So, you know, that's one upside. I always feel like I have to hit the red bit, and apparently I don't. So, you know. Yeah, where am I going? Uh, I'm not, I shouldn't be going that way, because I want to, oh, fuck it. Because there's someone I want to talk to first. He, he, he kind of gives you a quest, even though it's not actually a quest. Let's get out of there. I'd rather not. Get stuck. Actually, no, I want to be in the water. There's something I believe I can find. Yeah, don't. Probably. Terribly best you don't roll in the water. It's incredibly slow. Hey, buddy. You seem to guard items. I'm not sure if that's a consistent thing. Or just, you know. I'm going to pop this down because I believe there is a poison spear past here. If I recall. No. No, am I missing something, or is this just a shortcut? I don't remember. I saw a, there was a poison spear somewhere. I don't remember where. That's kind of a problem. I have no idea. Great. <laughs> good. Good. Good start. Right. No. Down. 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 Right. No. Don't climb. There it is. Oh, father rolling. The player moves farther when rolling. Okay, I'm okay with that. So it seems the scrolls are random of what you get by the looks of things. The fire spear though has always been in the same place. The, the scroll last time I believe was was a, was a poison spear. I don't remember farther on. I've never gotten farther on before actually. Let's get rid of that. Eh? Uh, the game it says on the store it's procedurally generated which I'm not sure I can disagree with. A lot of the places look similar. I've seen a number of places, like the fire spear area, I I can get to consistently, just because it looks, it just always seems to look the same. I think there's a certain point where the levels become a bit more procedural, and 
unless I've gotten seriously lucky and just gotten the same fire sphere bit over and over and over again. Ah, oh, there's a there's a thing up there. I need that. I need that. I want that. I want that. I want it. I need it. I don't know what it is. Could be the could be the poison sphere. I could be talking less bullshit than I thought originally thought, which would be wonderful. Let's have a look, shall we? It's weird considering this was where I was supposed to go in the first place. Roll, because rolling seems more effective. Let's get a wonderful headshot. That did not kill you. I was hoping it would. It did not. Right, gimme that. Impact landing. Lights nearby enemies on fire when the player lands on the ground. That sounds rather useful. Uh, I have no idea where this dude is. You can, you don't have to go right, but I feel like it's the easiest direction to start off with. Because the first time I played this, I went left. And, um, it, it was interesting to say the least. I fought off an, <laughs> I fought off a giant enemy and I was rolling forever to try and dodge his attacks. It was, it wasn't the easiest battle of my life. Let's put it that way. Let's get rid of these guys because they're tiny. And you. I'm going to have some fire spear back. Thank you. Yeah, so I generally recommend going right. First of all, it'll get the job done. Um. Okay, so here we have a, bo a boss fight. I love the music for this boss fight, I can't deny. But the problem is, I never get a chance to listen to it because the boss is doing too well a job of trying to kill me. You fuck. Yeah, yeah. Kind of be wary of the bramble. I absolutely love the... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. I, can, I absolutely love the boss soundtrack. And that's the only one I've heard because I don't know where the other bosses are. Yeah, and now that it's over, I'm back here. Basically, says the same thing. And I basically, I restart. It's, bas it's like a roguelike. You die, you start with nothing again. Simple. Yeah. Um, it's generally not recommended you go down here first because, yeah, you kind of burn to death. So let's have a quick exploration down here while I slowly burn and die. Oh, hello. You're new. I've never seen you before. Thanks for the help. That's sustaining my life for just a little bit longer. I'm about to die. And I'm dead. Yeah. Basically, the, re the way I go down there is, if you've ever played... This is why the game makes me feel like it's a Metroidvania. Basically, in in a few Metroid games, there's there's a suit which allows you to go in fire zones without taking damage. And in this game, if you defeat that boss and give it to the dude who originally talked to you to tell you to defeat that boss, he will give you an upgrade, he will give you a power-up or something or whatever it is, to actually, actually go down there without taking damage. At least that's what it sounds like. I wouldn't know because the boss kills me every bloody time. Oh, level transitions. I completely forgot about them. Oh, you're big. You are big, and you died instantly. That is fine with me. Yeah, I will soon display why you should probably go right first. Let's just... I may just roll... I may just roll past his enemy, because he kind of... He kind of just... Not this one. He's not that easy. Not that one. He's still pretty easy. Ooh! Ooh! I've never gotten that before. Light armor obtained. Ooh. Okay, so the game is definitely... Okay, so the game is definitely 100% procedurally generated. Because the first time I went left, it was... I did not have this easy of a time. I did not get light armor obtained. That, so maybe going left. There's still the thing that shoots me. I'm glad. I'm so glad that's still there. Thankfully, there's no fall damage by those things. Oh, shit. What hit me? How did that ball bounce in such a way that it got me? Fuck that ball. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Throw it. Thank you. And stab. Jump. If you can't reach a jump, generally, the, so there's a weird black box in my way, and I'm not sure why. The game... The game is... I've got an unfinished version of the game. Well, unfinished probably isn't. I've got a press release version of the game. It's probably the better word. There are going to be issues. Black box. Not entirely sure why it did that. That was very strange. But regardless, it seems to have fixed the issue. 
I don't know what that was about. That was very strange. Yeah, roll jumps. Nice. Nice way. Okay, that's weird. Not sure why that's consistent. Roll jumps. Very effective, apparently. I've never actually been this far on this side of the level. I was... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I do... The music in this game is great. I can't... I can't deny. The combat... It's pretty fun. I, although, blocking, I still feel... I just can never do it. It's probably effective, but I just feel like dodge rolling is a much more effective way, because instead of having to wait and bot their attacks and roll and do stuff... If you play Dark Souls, you'll probably know how effective rolling is. Considering if you're stuck with fat roll, you're kind of not in a good position most of the time. Music suddenly changed, which makes me think there is a giant boss somewhere. I'm going to presume. Oh, hello, spider. Although you've only got four legs, so technically you're not technically an arachnid. Technically, technically, technically. I have no idea where I'm going. I missed that. It's not so good. I tell you what, at this point, this is just a learning experience for both me and you. Go off. Go off. Spider, I'm just gonna take a spear back. Okay, you you do what you want. That's fine. Oh, good spider webs. I wonder what could be in here. I wonder. I really want to know what other. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Okay, I can't climb against that, but he can. Maybe it's an upgrade that I can do that. I don't know. Oh shit. Okay, he's dead. That's fine. He was, he was a little weaker than I expected. Why do spi spiders do not do this? I, I would just like to explain. Most spiders do not have two legs, because that would not make them a spider. Oh, you know what? Let's just... Wrong button. That one. Wrong button. Why are you holding the wrong button, bro? Give me my spear, please. Yeah. Okay, you're dead. Dealt with. Dealt with, son. Oh shit. What did I get? Lightning spear obtained. The fuck are you? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, well, I've now got a new spear, which is wonderful. But, okay. This thing is dangerous. Are you dead net? You're still not dead. Let's make you a lightning fire spear, because that is. Oh my goodness. Get out my way. Shit, he's, he looks like he's gonna charge. No, I'm fine. lost something there. Can you jump? You can't. Okay, that... Okay, that makes you a, a lot less of a threat. I'm not gonna deny. You just lost a foot, I think. Go away, whatever the fuck you are. Go away! The creature design is someone else in this game. It's very unique. That's like that And you're dead. Yep, definitely dead. Right, okay, so you are kind of anticlimactic considering I just sort of stood there and threw my spear at you. But, you know, I'm allowed to do that because the game has given me the option. Just to kill you before you turn around and stab me with your long, fiery teeth. Okay. There are two doors. Why does this remind me so much of Mega Man, and why do I feel like this is about to be a boss fight? It's not, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, I should add. Hey, come Oh, shit. Okay. I kind of... Throwing your spear can be, you know, kind of hit and miss trick. Oh, shit. Yeah, throwing your spear can be a bit of a hit and miss trick. I can't deny. Can I have my spear? Get me one of these. Yeah, let's not touch the fiery man thing. Yeah, how am I like this here? Oh, shit. What the fuck are you? Go away. Go away. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, full health. I don't know why that's full health, but it is. It's just a dead version of me, which is strange. But it's, it's, it's fine and dandy. Shit. Self-kill day. Okay, I can't climb that. Sorry. 
Could you bugger off? This thing is annoying. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. Oh, I've gone somewhere new. Oh. Oh, I got an achievement for going to the cave. Oh. Thank you, game. Right now, making progress. There's no music. Why is there no music? Why is there no music? Why is there no music? This is very strange. Why is there no music? Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting combat because there's no music to intensify me for it. Oh, blue fruit. Okay. No, you, you would just die. You know what? Let's let's carry on. Go let's go back up. Because I feel like I'm just going to drop off and go back to a level I've already been to. And I'd rather explore somewhere new. I like the music's weird. There you go. Thank you, game. I can't make that. Nope. I can't make that. Whoops. Oh, well. Maybe I need a better jump. Probably. That, I wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me if that was an upgrade. Thank you for having music again. Okay, this is interesting. It feels a little framey. Just a little bit. Oh, hello, you're back again. It's good to know. You're pretty easy to deal with, though, so, you know. Spear, 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 thank you. I don't know if touching the ceiling will hurt me, so let's not find out. And you're dealt with, that's good. I missed my spear, doesn't matter. Oh, shit, I was supposed to... Stab everything, kill everything. Okay, just touching that just straight up hurts. Wonderful. I I should be aiming. Yoink. Spear again. Thank you, Josh. I've no idea why my spear comes back to me, but I can't complain. It's oh dear. Where where the fu oh my god, you're actually a thing. Okay. Oh god, there's more than one. Good. I'm. I was worried there would be less. Oh shit! What am I doing? Where am I going? There's got to be some evil down here, right? Oh my goodness! Where have I gone? Okay. Oh. Oh, impact spear. Why does that sound awesome? That'd be why. It destroys shit. Oh, I tell you what. Oh, oh that's really satisfying. I have no idea where I've gone, how I got here, or what I have to do. But I can tell you this. This is bloody fun. Did you enjoy that, bitch? Impacted. No, don't kill me. Oh, that's so satisfying. It feels so powerful. Do it again. Just stay up here. And... Why aren't you dead? Having a permanent fire sphere would be lovely, but I'm throwing it through a torch, so, you know, it gets the job done. Okay, impact sphere. It's wonderful. I wonder if it does that if I just do normal melee attacks. I'd, I'd rather not test it on the big dude, you know what I I'm actually really enjoying this. The first time I played it, I was a bit, um, I wasn't too sure what to expect. But after, like, a half an hour of giving the game a go, you, you really sort of get into it. That looks like something I can destroy with my impact sphere. Of course it is. What isn't? Ooh. It's really interesting just to sort of, ex oh, shit. I bet you didn't like that, did you? You didn't think you would? I can pierce through your shields with my impact spear of awesomeness. The shield is so good. Oh shit, you're still alive. I was hoping you wouldn't be. Yes. Spear. Thank you. Are you dead? You're not dead. Why aren't you dead? Die! I think you're dead. You look dead. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, it's... I'd rather not be killed by, like, the crappest enemies in the game. Oh, this is awful. Go away. Can 
Can I block these? I don't know. I can't. Want, I don't want to check. Fuck off. No, don't kill me. You activate him again. Why would you do that? Oh. They activate him. Okay. So I just have to dis by destroying them. Okay. Okay. That's nice. You learn, you learn something new. Do they kill me? They don't. Yeah, it's nice just to explore. Actually, it's, that's that's what I think what I've been enjoying the most out of it. It's not doing... I wasn't enjoying it so much, just sort of trying to defeat that one boss. But now that I've gone left, strange how a change of direction makes things a little more interesting. But I've found so much more interesting stuff that really sort of pulls me into the game a lot more. Uh, nothing, right. I'm so close to dying. It's, it's terrifying. Actually, oh, oh, wait, wait, you're three bit, you're basically three bits of health. It's not much for speed thrill health, but it's still free health, not thrill health. Oh, oh shit. Spear, 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 roll, shit, roll. Yeah, the game has a sense of urgency considering you have to restart the entire go again once you die. Impact spear. Yep, I've been this way. Yay, I'm back by the water. Shit. Okay, why are you here? We don't need to be friends. We can stay mild acquaintances. That's fine. Piss off. Yeah, the game's... The game's exploration really, really intrigues me. And I'm glad I got to see the, proce the procedural generation side of the game. Because I hadn't really seen it because I just kept going the same direction it didn't seem to do anything different but there is definitely procedural generation which is nice it gives the game gives the game even more reason for you to explore which is which is fun which is kind of the point of the game and you know the beating being really hard bosses that's that's not so great <laughs> mainly because I suffered that's, that's oh I'm so glad I'm full damage or else I would have been dead a long time ago Could you make that jump please could you make that jump, please? Could you make that jump, please? Could you make that jump, please? Oh, Karumba. Could you please just make the fucking jump? Lady, dude, man, thing. I don't know what you are. Just please jump. And you're... Oh, hello. You're still here. I was getting worried. Spear. Use beer. You can block this. Oh, you can block this. Okay, you're gone. I'm so close to dying. It's it's nerve-wracking. Oh, bugger. Come on. There you go. I'm so prepared to die. I'm just I'm just wondering when it'll happen at this point. Fuck it. Go. Roll and go. Can I impact spear that? I can. It was big, which must mean it's important. Please give me full health or something. Just anything. I will accept it with grace, I swear. Oh shit. I'm out. I'm dead. I'm so totally I'm gone. I'm not I'm not dead. Destroy it! That's not destroyable. Let's just stay out of their way. For a little bit. Oh, it's like a piercing shot. Oh, that's nice. That's not a that's not okay, maybe it's not. That one just came as a piercing shot. Hey, more health. Whether that's going to help me is a mystery. Where am I going is a question I'd like answering. But, you know. Oh, fucking hell. Just roll. Just roll. Impact spear. No. Do not impact spear of wall. It will explode and you will die, apparently. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, I'd say that was pretty, that was the best run I'd ever done. I have to admit. Uh, yeah. Oblitus is a very interesting game. But I feel it's one of those games where if you, you see it and you think you'll enjoy it, you'll probably enjoy playing it. If, if it doesn't look like your cup of tea, you may not. If, if you don't like having to read... If you don't like... If you don't like roguelikes, I highly doubt you'd like Oblitus, just because 
dying and restarting. Not really everybody's cup of tea. It never was mine, but the uh, games kind of... Some, some games turned me over. I must admit. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Combat's quite fun. It's quite stressful as well. The exploration's nice. The music's fun. It, overall, it's a good game. I would recommend giving it a go. So, maybe mark your calendar. Or maybe don't, considering the day this comes out. It will probably be out the next day. Hopefully that weird little square block thing that slowly grows. They fix. I don't know what that was about. That was very strange. But regardless. Uh, yeah. It's a fun game. I recommend it. Give it a go. Uh, I think that's about all I have to say. For this, really. Um, thank you for watching. And until next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Do it.